today I'm going to talk to you guys about how to become extremely confident with women. And the kind of confidence that is not just external, that is superficial, that is you acting confident and pretending to be confident, but like a really deep-rooted, powerful, internal confidence that is a sense of like knowing that you just know that you're that guy that women are attracted to. So let's dive in. There's two paths that you guys can take to building confidence with women. And for me, I started on the harder path, the longer path. And that is the path of action. So going out consistently, doing approaches, putting yourself in uncomfortable situations, getting rejected again and again and again, becoming little by little more desensitized to the approaching itself. And over time, making small improvements, making those little incremental improvements. And of course, you know, if you take action again and again and again, you'll get better at whatever it is that you do. Any skill that you practice, whether it's skiing or basketball or playing the piano or meeting and approaching women, you become better, you become more proficient and skilled in that realm. And that's what happened with me, is that I got pretty good at some basic actions. But then consistently over and over again, I would get stuck in certain situations, whether that was starting the conversation, I would get stuck. I would be like, oh shit, like, I don't know what to say. Should I make an indirect opener? Should I do a direct opener? Should I make an observational opener? I was just stuck in my head. I didn't know how to engage the girl. Then I got to a point where, you know, I learned some stuff online, some pickup tactics. I got a little bit better at flowing in the beginning part of the conversations, but then there was that point where things would just get a little bit awkward. There was that pause. I didn't know what to say. I would start to feel insecure and then I would just self-reject as maybe some of you guys do. You're like, shit, I don't know where to go from here. And you just leave the conversation. Then there was times where conversations would go well, but when it was time for me to actually like create sexual tension, to move things forward, to you know, really take command of the situation and maybe lean in for a kiss or pull the girl closer to me or move closer to her, I would also feel this, this heavy block inside of me, this sense of resistance. But I kept pushing through and pushing through and pushing through, right? Learning how to act confident, studying different behaviors, and little by little, I got better. Little by little, I got to a point where I had a decent amount of success. But there was always something inside of me, regardless of how much success I had, up until I would say the past couple of years, that didn't feel aligned with any of the success. As I told you guys yesterday, I got to a point where I was dating three or four different very beautiful women. And then all of a sudden, these women left my life. And I felt insecure, I felt lonely, I felt empty again. I felt like I had to restart again. So what I'm talking to you guys about here is the long path that most guys take. Everybody who's studying pickup, everybody who is hammering out cold approaches day in and day out, they're all taking the long path to becoming confident and to becoming successful with women. I'm not saying it's not possible. You do grow and you do make improvements, but if you guys want to change and transform in any area of your life, you have to understand, in a sense, like the level of consciousness and the levels of transformation that really happen at a deep level when, whenever you're going about mastering something. So at the highest level, you have action, right? And even with taking a lot of action, yes, you could change. Yeah, you could grow. But if your beliefs, which are the deeper parts of you, if your identity, if your core paradigms and stories of how you see yourself and how you see the world aren't changed, if they're the same, the action is only going to lead to just a little bit of results. And a lot of the time, it's going to take you right back to where you started. That's where self-sabotage comes from. That's where, you know, the feeling of, you know, what's the point of taking action 
comes from that apathy that you feel that all of a sudden you just don't want to approach anymore. That's where all that happens is, is underneath the surface because the, the action is just the upper layer of the iceberg, but then you guys got to look at everything that's actually happening below the surface. And that's why I love this work that we do here is because we really are one of the only dating companies that go below the surface. Everybody's just playing on the tip of the iceberg. Everybody's just telling you what to say, how to approach women, but nobody's addressing the beliefs and the stories and the core paradigms inside of you that are actually preventing you from taking effective, powerful actions in the first place. So today we're gonna to talk about the easy path, the fast path and the effective path to actually achieving your dating goals. And that is by doing the, the deep work. Not just going out and taking action and being the guy that's really, really disciplined and the guy that goes really, really hard, but the guy that is just able to talk to women and that just knows that talking to women is easy for him and feels attractive, that feels desirable, that feels worthy. How do you actually become that guy? Because that was my goal from the very start. But I went the opposite way, right? I thought that by taking action and by getting results with women, <clears throat> my internal reality would change. So by taking external action, my internal reality would change. If I acted like the guy that's confident, I would become and start to feel like the guy that's confident. But as I said, that's the hard path. That's the long path. But what if you guys could flip that and start with the inner work and first internally become the guy that is confident, that is attractive to women and then watch your reality manifest itself. So that's what we're going to dive into. And it's really not that hard. There's really only, I would say two parts to this. The first is planting new belief systems in new stories and new mindsets that right now are not a part of your subconscious core belief system and then removing resistance to those new belief systems. That's, that's all that it comes down to is just new beliefs and then letting go of old beliefs. That's it. So how do you plant new beliefs? The fastest way, there's, there's a couple different tools, but the fastest way that we use and that all of you guys have access to is hypnosis. And the interesting thing about hypnosis is that it bypasses your conscious thinking. And this is why affirmations don't work. I know, I believe you asked about affirmations. The reason why affirmations don't work is because affirmations is you forcing a new belief into your mind that is directly in opposition to something that you're already holding. So it's impossible to believe that you're worthy and unworthy at the same time. It's impossible to believe that you're attractive and unattractive at the same time. You can only hold one of those beliefs at once because each of them has a different charge to it, a different energetic charge. One is a charge of joy and courage and love and power. And one of them is a charge of fear and apathy and inadequacy. They literally, it's like light and dark can't exist together in one space. It's impossible. So that's why hypnosis is very powerful because it allows you to first slow down your conscious mind to go into a space of just deep relaxation and just presence, to slow down those thoughts, to let the thoughts pass and just get to a really Zen-like state where you're thoughtless and you're really present and you're really in the now. And then when you're in that state of deep, deep presence, you have access to infinity. You have access to the full subconscious mind and you're able to make powerful new suggestions to it. So that's why in the hypnosis that we have in our accelerator program is I first have you guys slow down the conscious thinking and then you allow the new belief systems that I have in there to be imprinted onto you. Now there's, I would say four main beliefs that you need that we'll talk about to develop this extreme amount of internal confidence. 
The first belief is about you, and that's the most important because it's an identity level belief. And that belief is that I am attractive, I am desirable just the way that I am. And if you guys ever hear all those people talking on TikTok and YouTube about, you know, how women only like guys that are tall or that are ripped or that are this or that, right? This is in direct correlate or this is in direct opposition to the belief that I'm attractive just the way that I am. Because what does that mean that you're attractive just the way that you am you are? It means that you don't need anything else. Sure, you can go out, you could buy yourself a nice suit, you could get some new shoes, you could get some designer clothes, you could hit the gym, you get a new haircut, make more money. But all these things are just bonuses. And a lot of the time, these things are just permission slips for you to believe that you're attractive. Think about that. A lot of these things that you think that you need to be attractive are just permission slips that allow the belief to be more rooted into you. They're just references that reaffirm that belief. But why even rely on those permission slips? So like, why not just directly download that new belief into your mind of I'm attractive, I'm desirable just the way that I am. And notice what that feels like, because that's the other piece to hypnosis is that really allow that feeling of being attractive to permeate through your body, feel it in your cock, feel it in your legs, feel it in your heart. Like, what does that feel like? And start to embody that. Don't just think about it. Feel into what a guy that is attractive to women feels like. Start feeling from his perspective. Start occupying that feeling of being attractive. And the more that you can occupy that feeling of desirability and attractiveness, you'll become that guy. So that's number one. Number two, the second belief that we dive into is around the dating process itself. So many guys believe that you know, dating's hard, it's difficult, it takes a while, it's stressful, it's expensive. But all these things block you from actually having this ease and natural success with women. So the second belief that we really focus on is that dating is effortless. Because again, what if dating was effortless? What does that feel like for dating to be effortless? What if you can just walk up to women, talk to them for 30 minutes, create a deep connection and just go back to her place or your place and have a beautiful night of, of intimacy? And then she's the one following up with you wanting to see you again. What if it was just that easy? What if there was literally nothing that you had to do but just walk up, and just say what you feel. Because it really is that easy. And anything that you think that is not true about that is just your own limiting beliefs and your own resistance to that. So the third belief is about sex. So many guys, sex, sexuality, I mean, so many guys have shame around sexuality that have fears around sexuality, that have anxiety around it, guilt around it. But what if your belief was that sexual sexuality and sex is natural, that it's healthy, that it's good, that it's fun, that it's exciting, and that it's a way for you to connect deeper with someone? Like your sexual energy your, your, is your life force. We're here to, in a way, to have sex, right? to reproduce. That's the purpose of humanity. Like without sex, you guys wouldn't even be here. I wouldn't be here. So how the hell is it even possible that sex is bad? <laughs> it's the creative force that allows you to do everything else. And you could channel it into other things that are not sexual, or at least they don't seem sexual. But in my mind, everything's sexual. Like you put that sexual energy into a project that you work on or on, in a business that you build. I mean, the speech that I'm giving you guys, I'm channeling sexual energy to give the speech. Like I'm fucking turned on right now, <laughs> giving the speech, I'm excited. And if I had no sexual energy in me, I wouldn't be able to give a speech like this. So 
that new belief of sexuality is beautiful, that it's good, that it's healthy, that it's life-giving. And the fourth belief is about women, right? If some of you guys are a bit jaded about women, you think that women are nasty, that they're mean, that they're cold, that they're bitchy, that's all going to be reflected out to you in the physical world. So having a new belief that women are super loving, super open, super just happy to meet you. That women are eager for you to approach them. What kind of belief is that? Think about how, how much that's going to change the way that you feel like. What does that feel like in your body to believe that women are eager for you to approach them and be sexual with them? Notice what that feels like. They're eager. They're like desperately waiting for you to approach them and talk to them and take their number and take them out. Because it's actually true. And anything that you guys think otherwise is just your own limiting beliefs. It's just your own stories. Because I've had many, 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 many experiences of myself approaching a girl and taking her home, having a great night together, and she's like thanking me profusely for talking to her. She's like, I am so, so happy that you came up and talked to me and that you gave me this experience. It's all about what you guys believe. So that's the, th the fourth belief, I believe, right? Fourth belief. I mean, there's, there's some other smaller beliefs that we could add in there, right? Beliefs around approaching, beliefs around being authentic, beliefs around creating sexual tension that you could add in there that are positive. But the key here behind all of this is that once you can download these new belief systems into your body, because it's not even really into your mind, it's into your body, and start to feel them and embody them, everything just becomes so effortless. So that's the first piece. The second piece of this, of building extreme confidence with women, is relaxing into it. That's it. Just relaxing into it. You notice any resistance to any of this stuff? Don't fight it. Because resistance, resisting resistance just creates more resistance. It's a never-ending cycle. So just relax. Relax your body. Let the resistance be there. Let the resistance naturally release itself because you don't have to actively release anything. You can just relax your body and you could just let the resistance go on its own. And just assume that everything that you just worked on in the hypnosis is true. Right? And that's it, and just go about your day. There's no need to do what most people do with affirmations where they feel like they need to all day tell themselves, I'm enough, I'm enough, I'm enough. Because I've tried that and that doesn't work. Because if somebody actually is enough, do they need to tell themselves again and again and again that they're enough? Of course not. It's just they just are, right? And that's the point of what we're doing here is that you guys do the hypnosis as consistently as you can to download the new beliefs, and then you just relax and enjoy your new reality. And you'll start to see shifts. The more that you resist, by the way, the more that you fight, the more that you kind of force yourself, the more it's gonna take longer for you guys to actually start to feel this intense, deep inner confidence. So just do it and just relax and enjoy and just assume that everything that you've just worked on is already true. So when you guys start to download this stuff and when you start to really embody this completely, you have no idea what will happen. It's the difference between you walking up to a girl and being filled with fear and tension and anxiety and nervously and cautiously walking over and being like, hey, um, I, I, what's your name? And, and having this like force like dragging you and pulling you back. It's the difference between that, having that internal belief system and walking over to her and just assuming that you're attractive and just standing there. Hey, what's your name? 
and just assume and just like having this knowing in your body that she feels. Right? And that's why some guys don't need to learn anything because they were born and nurtured in an environment where the right beliefs were already imprinted into them, right? Whether it was their dad, their older brother, over and over and over again, gave them those stories and those, those beliefs and those mindsets that allowed them to really believe that and know in their body that they're attractive and their reality was reinforced again and again and again in a positive way. So if you guys didn't have that, I'm assuming you didn't, I didn't, is you have to actively do it yourself. Because your self-talk, what happens up here, is what's most important. It's more important than any technique, it's more important than anything you say, than anything that you do. What happens up here in your mind, the conversation that you have in your mind, is more important than anything else. It creates everything else in your life. Thanks, guys.